Hello, Serious Survivor here. Today we're going to look at how to update your SMB memory. The SMB is the Serial Measurement Board, which is located on the rear of the robot, uh, inside of the base plate on the rear, where the cables plug into. What the SMB does is it stores your calibration values, but it also, its primary function is it takes the analog waveforms that come from the devices in the motor called a resolver, and it works a series of formulas and converts these analog waveforms into a digital incremental number in which it sends to the Axis computer inside the system. The Axis computer then looks at the numbers and from, from looking at those numbers is able to determine accurately the position of each robot axis. So the SMB is a vital part of the system. It has a 10.8 volt lithium battery in it and these batteries do tend to die the more, the ro more your robot sits. Robots are made to operate 24, days, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So the more you let them stand with no power on, the more the system will pull off of this battery to maintain the internal memory of the SMB. So when these batteries start to fail, then you start losing SMB data or you start losing your calibration values. And there is a process called fine calibration that you can attain these values again. Or if you know the PC is good, we're going to look at a simpler, quicker, easier method to update the SMB. To update the SMB, you're going to want to go to your ABB main menu, so tap ABB, and from here we go to the calibration menu. Under calibration, the first screen that's going to pop up is going to show you a list of mechanical units assigned to this controller. In this case, I have one, Rob1, one, so it's pretty easy for me to make this decision. Then it takes me to my actual calibration menu. The top option is to update the rev counters. But to update the SMB memory, we want to go to the third option here, SMB memory, Serial Measurement Board. So when we tap it, we'll see three options, Show Status, Update, and Advance. Well, let's, we're going to use the update, but let's glance at these real quick. When you hit Show Status, it'll give you some information about your cabinet memory and your SMB memory. So if you don't know whether your SMB or your main PC has lost these values or has failed, then you can come to this screen and the one that is functioning properly will say valid beside it. The ones that say not valid, that will be the device you want to update. So we're going to say the SMB is not valid and since this is a simulator on a regular PC as opposed to on a robot controller, I'm not really connected to anything that so it's going to show not valid. Advanced gives you the option to clear the cabinet memory or to clear the SMB memory. Not used very often, but if you need to clear the memory of your PC or of the SMB, you can use these options. The update is what we want to look at. Now, the update is going to come in very handy. You've got two options here. The first option says cabinet or manipulator has been exchanged. Update the cabinet with the SMB memory. Now, you'll do this from time to time. It's not always when you exchange a cabinet or put a new robot in the cell. If you have to change the PC out or the main computer, or if the PC has crashed, or if the PC, which has a 3-volt button cell battery in it that holds its memory up while the system is down, if that battery has died, then the PC will lose its data. And if you know the SMB is good, but the PC data is gone, then you would choose the top option. The bottom option, the SMB serial measurement board has been replaced, or the battery's dead, or there's some type of malfunction. And with the second option, where we can update the SMB memory with the cabinet data. So basically we're transferring or copying the values from the cabinet or the PC to the SMB. And it's a pretty easy process. You simply just tap the one you want to do and it's going to warn you. ABB gives us a warning on almost everything we do. It always says it cannot be undone and it can't be, but it can be redone. Nothing, there's nothing on this controller we can't do over if a mistake is made. And it tells us this operation will override all SMB, Serial Measurement Board, memory data in the manipulator or robot. It cannot be undone. Are you sure you want to proceed? I'm going to say yes, I want to proceed. And at that point, as long as you're connected to a cabinet, you shouldn't get this error. But if you get this error, that means not only your SMB is bad, but your cabinet data is bad too. But if you have a functional cabinet and you know the SMB was bad and you update to it, then it should just pop up a window saying update successful. So it's a pretty quick and easy process and it sure beats running the fine calibration process, which can take an extended amount of time. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Check in on Serious Survivor channel for many more robot programming videos. And for now, Serious Survivor, out.